a local lawmaker questioned as part of a prostitution investigation. Good evening to you. I'm Sheree Palello. Mike Dardis has the night off. The well-known Mason City Councilman has not been charged with any crime. WLWT News Science Jackie Jado just got the report from Mason Police. She joins us live now with the new information just in. Jackie. Sheree, and according to that Mason police incident report, police were here. They were conducting surveillance of the room you're looking at here behind me, 131 at the Super 8 Motel. They were suspicious, as you mentioned, that there was prostitution activity happening. According to the report, they set up surveillance of the room on June 11th and within minutes saw a man enter the room. They went up to the room to confront the man, and the report says 15 minutes later, Mason City Councilman Richard Cox came out of the room. According to the report, police told Cox they, quote, had complaints about prostitution from that room, and he denied that anything like this was happening, end quote. The report says police found a woman named Min Guo inside the room. They, quote, checked the trash can and found several condom wrappers, end quote. The report says they also found a ledger and a, quote, considerable amount of money in her jean pockets, end quote. But, quote, the inability to communicate and effectively interview Min Guo was a deterrent a uh, detriment, rather, to developing any further leads into prostitution, end quote. Now, it is important, again, as you mentioned, Sheree, to point out that neither this woman nor Cox was charged. I did speak with Cox on the phone a few minutes ago. He tells me he was at a nearby cell phone store uh, back on June 11th, and there was an elderly Asian man standing outside who asked for his help. He wanted to get a note to his daughter inside this hotel room. Uh, Cox told me that he delivered the note. He says nothing uh, illegal was going on that he knew of, and he was not there for anything other than to drop off that note. Reporting live tonight in Mason, Jackie Conjato, WLWT News 5.